Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got favors. Malik Beasley out there with Lou Dort. Then it's Marcus Smart, and it's Holiday in a point. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Now here's Winslow. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Winslow. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Good and the nice assist from Winslow. And with the postseason looming, Greg, any change in approach for the playoff contenders? Goal number one is health. Outside of that, you're looking at seating, trying to fine-tune, and just getting dialed in for what could be a long road. Giddy the pass to Chris. And Chris throws it down. And once Chris gets the position he wants, he is throwing it down with a vengeance. Holiday goes in. Beasley for three. Drills the three-pointer. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, I was able to talk with Oklahoma City's head coach for just a minute, and one player on his mind was Drew Holiday and his ability to attack a defense with his playmaking. Coach said, with Giroux, you have to worry about his shooting and his passing. He's the complete guard. He may be underrated still, but he is one of the more talented players in the league. Guys? Thanks, David. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And the dunk to finish it off. Oh, beauty. <laughs> Dunks aren't always for the big foul. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Holiday finds Beasley. And that'll be the two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first personal first trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting for the away team. Malik Beasley at the line for two. Free throw, good, Beasley. So he gets them both. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. To the middle, there's Winslow, and he makes good on the way. Well, you'll never see Winslow shy away from physical play. In fact, more often than not, he initiates it. Smart goes in, and slam dunk by Smart. A oh, fantastic dunk, and, and he hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly. Who knows? But there he is, and we see it very clearly. And there's the drive, and it goes down two points. Gilgis Alexander's got seven points in the game. And you can see he's got a little bounce in his step. Three out of four to start. That one falls. And this is where Smart's at his best, being aggressive, going towards the rim. From 11 feet away, shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal foul. No question, he got bumped on that shot. The Thunder shooting their first free throws of the game. And taking a look at their free throw statistics on the season. Uh, right around 74%. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. And the effort level of Gilgis Alexander drew rave reviews from his college coach as the hardest worker and most coachable player on the team. It's good. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Now here's Winslow. Passes it to Roby. Dort grabs the miss. And there's the pass to Smart. Over to the wing. And favors kicks to Beasley. Pass to Holiday. Pulls it from 20. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. 
inside, outside, in between. When you can score like Holiday from every distance, the defense is powerless to take anything away. Sky high, one of his advantages as a undersized four. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Smart finds Jordan. And here's Holiday. Takes it inside. It's blocked. Oh, and the foul on Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday. That'll be his second, second foul of the game. Foul. And Oklahoma second City making foul. a change here. Baisley's checked check in. in for the away team. Thunder coming to this one after the win against the Heat. Gilgis Alexander, a screen on beast. Here's Giddy. Drills it from outside. As good a playmaker as he is a scorer. Winslow with great patience and great vision. Feeds it to Beasley. Pass to Dort. Smart against Gilgis Alexander. Beasley, the best is smart. Shot clock at six. Here's Dort. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. George got his second bucket. Boy, both teams racking up the points to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. Winslow's shot is off. And Snell, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Look at the leaping ability of Tony Snell. Gets up over the defense and slams it in. Oklahoma City trailing. Passes it to Gilgis Alexander. Driving inside. And they immediately answer back with a dunk at the other end. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. Snell, that's good. I like seeing Tony Snell be assertive on the offensive end, looking for a shot, especially from the mid-range. Here's Giddy. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Here's the floater. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Lynn with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lynn. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And, guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. So both teams changing it up here. Here's Herder. Gets it from three-point range. That's Kevin Herter's bread and butter, where he shot 42% from beyond the arc his sophomore year in college. Richardson. Offensive rebound. Outside Porter. Good on the triple. Nate lead changes now, and we're still just in the first half. And I'm not sure I've seen a game with more lead changes this early. Here's Melodon. That one's not going to go. The best to Snell. Down low. One thirty-one left in the first quarter. Six on the shot clock. Tries it from the top of the key. He hits the back oh, iron and sinks the shot. Snell's got six. The complete game of Otto Porter. Overplay him, and it's a good bet he'll find the open band. Lynn with the block. They retain possession. Herder, no good. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Richardson the pass to Toppin. And Toppin throws it down. Assistant Give Josh credit, taking Josh the Richardson. challenge offensively. Discipline, and that's a beautiful pass. Pass to Chris. Here's Herder. Lynn with the block. And he drives in. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like 
where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Now, here's Melodon. Guarded by Atlanta. A shot by Melodon. No good. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Toppin passes to Snell. Lynn, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul goes shooting against Oklahoma right City. Team. He's getting his Alex first Lynn. free throw attempt of the night right two now. Shots. That free throw good from Len. Roby, he's checked in for Marquise Chris. Free throws, good from Len. 20 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here's Herder. Buries it from three-point range. He's got six. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Tappen kicks to Len. Three-pointer, Snell. Whoa! Buzzer beater. I did not think he was going to get that off in time. One eye on the rim, one eye on the shot clock, ending the quarter the right way. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Up nine. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? I mean, the rebounding was the difference in that first period. You've got to block these guys out. Yes, you know this, GA. Back in our days, and any day, really, if you don't block out somebody, you will sit down. Thunder trailing by nine. Holiday out there with Richardson. Then it's Porter. Then there's Toppin. And it's Land in at the center, locking down the middle. Gilgis Alexander against Holiday. Gilgis Alexander, good. Gilgis Alexander's got 13 points. Richardson attacking. Oh, and the jam by Richardson. That's a beautiful move by Josh Richardson. And the defense, you got to be better than this. Can't allow a blow by. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Gilgis Alexander passes to Roby. Toppin pulls it in. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Back to Richardson. It's deflected, and they'll keep possession. Count that one from Toppin. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter to the paint. Here's Roby. Len grabs the board. Roby's gone one of four from the field. Here's Toppin. Score it. His oh, third three basket in three tries. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Roby the pass to Baisley. Here's Hurt. Six points for him. Can't cash in on the ten-foot jumper. Porter in the corner. Richardson outside. Good and a nice Richardson. assist from Porter. Richardson's got four points in the quarter. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Timeout is called first of the game for the Thunder. And Smitty, I'm going to ask you to put your GM hat on here for a second. When you think of undervalued player types, what comes to mind? For me, Kevin, defenders who are also great decision makers offensively everyone knows you need shooting but you add in a player that can defend and pass that's how you build an elite team a different look for Oklahoma City Chris comes in for Roby and it's Justin Winslow in for Ty Jerome Here 
comes Chris. Baisley passes to Winslow. Here's Herter. No good again that time. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Here's Holiday. Doesn't go for him. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. Yeah, proficiency from range. Away from home, much Marcus easier Martin. said That's than done. They ball. played a terrific first ball game. Ball. Yeah, and you could see the crowd's reaction with every make. It wasn't pretty. There's one For place you can be sure Kevin to find Herter. Kevin Herter just about every day, and that's the film room. He studies the game in detail, trying to improve his own game and get insights into his opponents. Yeah, there's just as much work you can do on the court as it is off the court. Kevin Herter knows that, and he's embraced the film work and analysis that it takes to become a great player. With size in the backcourt, it's such an advantage. Kevin Herter is 6'6 six, six with a long frame. Off on the layup. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Favors can't get it to go. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Thunder. Trailing by 13. Chris hits the bucket. Uh, the touch is there. Next comes the consistency. Chris wants to be seen as a threat from deep. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Marcus Smart taking two shots. And that one falls for Smart. And some of what Smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but, but he makes plays that help you win. And so Smart nails both of them. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Here's Giddy, guarded by Smart. That cuts the lead to single digits. Baisley's got his first three points of the game. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. And that one's good by favorites. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Giddy the pass to Chris. He dishes it to Winslow. Second shot opportunity, and that's two points on the way. Winslow's got his second basket. A fantastic rebounder. I like how Winslow uses his athleticism to grab boards. What a All right, the Blues coming up to the court. Come on, get back for your Thunder Girl. Now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Taking a look at New Orleans. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. When you look at this visiting team, they've accomplished much of what they set out to do. Looking strong, they are right in the thick of it in terms of the championship. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Dort kicks to Beasley. Outside Holiday. Outside Smart. 18 feet away and he knocks Marcus it down. Smart. Smart's got his third basket of the night right there. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. They grab their own miss. Giddy misses that one. He's made one and missed two this game so far. Easily outside. Pass to Smart. Back to Beasley. Let's it fly. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Assisted. Smart's got his third assist on the night. And this is where Smart has really improved. The game's slowed down for him. He's playing under better control. Nice pass. Now a chance to take a look at some numbers for Drew Holiday. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards 
poor effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. Taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Here's Toppin. No good off the back of the rim. Thunder trailing by 11. Winslow with it. Passes to Giddy. Over Toppin. And Giddy gets it to go. Giddy has got five now. You're comfortable running the offense through Winslow because he makes good decisions. Stolen by Winslow. Now the pass to Giddy. Toppin pulls it in. Toppin's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Smart finds Dort. Easily outside. From outside, off the mark. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And the basket is good. basically has got five points now this quarter. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-open. Back to Snell. But Trey, and he's good on the three ball. And really, Snell needs no time at all to get his jump shot off. He's looking to score once he gets the pass. Time, time called here, and the Thunder decide to talk it over. On the Thunder with some changes. Roby, he's checked in for Baisley. Jerome comes in for Winslow. And Maladon subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. Got five. Pass to Jerome. Inside. Goes up again. Rebounded by Snell. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And that one's good by Porter. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. From 12 feet out, first shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Richardson finds Beasley. Now here's Richardson. And the three off target. 119 left here in the second. Here's Melodon. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Richardson. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clear. The Thunder shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. The first one fall. Kevin Herter. He is jacked in for Oklahoma City. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. It's deflected, and so out of bounds it goes. And they'll keep possession. Great energy on the deflection, and a good job disrupting their offense. This is called an effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. 110 left in the first half of basketball. Toppin dishes to Snell. Here's Beasley. The shot is good, and so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused, and they've executed. 
The shot by Melodon, no good. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. It took him no time oh, at all on that one. Toppin's got eight points. That's their third straight make off an assist. Jerome passes to Melodon. Rebound collected by Snell. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Porter kicks to Toppin. Back to Porter. Now the dish to Snell. Offline from the high post. This one for three. Hits the three-point bomb. Herder's got five points now in the quarter. I think we'll be watching this play for many years to come. Herder off the kick. Okay, the defender all over. Okay. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. On the night, he's two gone two for two at the strike. Malik Beasley, two shots. Free throw, good Beasley. He hits both from the strike. And so that brings the first half to a close. Up by 12. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Tony. You've made a difference for this team through two. What has been the mindset so far? You know, we're trying to come out and just try to be aggressive and just try to stay consistent and stick with our game plan. It's worked so far, man. Thanks for your time. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. Welcome, everyone, to tonight's show. Kicking things off, let's see some of the names on the injury list around the league. And you know what? Without DeRozan, their rotation looks a lot different. Look, he carries a heavy load at the offensive end, and there are plenty of chances for other guys to get more shots. And taking a glance now at this game, right now it's a big-time lead for the visiting team. They wouldn't be ahead without the numbers they've gotten from the bench, providing major contributions, especially at the offensive end. It's taken a lot of pressure off their starters. What a luxury to have a second unit that can produce. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, Shea Gilgis-Alexander has been exceptional here tonight, guys. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. So for Oklahoma City right now, we've got Shea Gilgis Alexander. Chris is out there with Winslow and it's Roby in at the four spot. Favors dishes to Holiday. Connects from three point range. Holiday's got his third basket of the night. This is the versatility we talk about with Drew. Able to beat you with the drives and from distance. Winslow wide open. He fires. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists in the game. Now here's Dort. And he goes in for the dunk. And he sure can get off the floor. He one of the best in the business, absolutely. Pass to Chris. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Here's Gilgis Alexander. 
And you can see Shea Gilgis Alexander thinking out there in a good way. He really studies every situation. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. And to this point on the season, guys, 80% from the line. He's done a really good job. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Beasley kicks to Holland. Favors passes to Smart. Outside Holiday. Off target with his three. Under trailing by 10. Here's Giddy. He's got five. Winslow finds Gilgis Alexander. Now Winslow passes it to Giddy. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his third They get Derek Favors. The Thunder have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. At the line for your Thunder. At the line for two. No good on the free throw. And the Thunder making a switch here. Baisley's checked in. He hits the second from the line. And here's Smart. Eight points for him. Porter passes to Dort. And Favors has it in the corner. And that goes out of bounds. And they retain possession. With ten games left, let's see how the playoff race is shaping up out west. You take a look at the Thunder. It's been a rough season for them. The good news is the lottery is only a couple months away. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Hands it from downtown. Holiday's got six points in the quarter. This is where Holiday's really improved. Working off ball and sinking jump shots. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. 17 points in the game. Over smart, Porter pulls it in. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Now, Gilgis Alexander following through Holiday's three-point attempt. It's a plus-five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Here's Favors. Here's Dort. And the layup's good off the glass. Dort's got eight. Favors is a terrific big man, a wonderful passer who sees the floor so well. Here's the lob to the hoop. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Here's Porter. Good, and Smart gets the assist. He has seven. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. On the wing, Winslow. Nine points in the game so far. Good work defensively by Smart. Back to Dort. In the corner, Smart with it. Smart on the wing. Kicks it to Holiday. Trains the three-pointer. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. 17-point game. And it's the loudest section gets free t-shirts. Let's see who's the loudest. All right, look who's coming on to the court. Come on, get loud for your Thunder Girl.
Porter with the steal. They're running. Here's Len. Outside Porter. There's the pass to Dort. Now Porter. It's Richardson on the wing. Good and a nice assist Richardson. from Porter. Three points. Porter's got three assists tonight. Good to see Richardson sink that one from long range. And defensively, I mean, there's only so much you can do against these three-point shots. Here's Baisley. Seven points in the game. Six to shoot. Will it go? It's hauled in by Richardson. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assistant. And, and when everyone's involved Ooh, offensively, yes, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Holiday dishes the land. Here's Porter, and finished oh, off by Porter. Offensively, Alex defensively, Glenn. they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their time out, time focus. Out. Time, time call the here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. Aldon's checked in for Gilgis Alexander. Defense the visitors. They lead by 24, their biggest margin. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Fast break, here they come. That's good from Holiday on the assist by Dort. Holiday's got 15 points. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Jerome, no good. And they can't put an end to this drought. For three, Richardson. Thunder with the rebound. Now here's Melida driving the lane. Here's Herder. Oh, and there's the one handed jam. Hey, if Herder can beat defenders with the dribble drive, they can't crowd him on the perimeter. It's T shirt with Anza. Make some noise. Ladies and gentlemen, your Thunder Girls. He's Chris. He's checked in for the Thunder. They are enjoying a commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Porter, no luck. Out to the right wing. And the call will be Alex against Land. Alex Land. That's his first that is his first foul. foul of the game. Foul. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 157 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Herter. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Herter's got five points in the quarter. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Plays it up and banks it in. Herter's got 18 points in the game. You know what? Hurt has been in a zone all night, really lifting this offense. Porter passes to Joppin. Dishes at the land. He kicks it to Snell. 
Now here's Richardson. He's guarded close to Josh Richardson. It's good. Against physical defense, Richardson using his length and athleticism to counter. Jerome passes to Melodon. Takes the three. Porter pulls it in. You want to talk about ugly? This team is losing, partly because he hasn't drained a shot all night. Richardson finds Len. On the wing, Porter. Thunder with the rebound. Chris has got five rebounds tonight. And Porter comes to help. Chris pass to Jerome. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. He has five. In perfect timing. This run is exactly what they needed, and it's right when they needed it. They couldn't afford to wait any longer. And On that one board. drops. I don't know what's line. happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Here's Herter. Toppin pulls it in. Toppin's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Back to Len. And the dunk by Len. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Here's Herter. Here's Melodon. And the Thunder, another three. Nice look from Kevin. Intelligent and unselfish. Well, for three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Up 19. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, it takes good vision and it takes good decision making right there. He showed both and he did so at a very high level. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. They've got Beasley. Favors is out there with Toppin. Assistant. Then there's Smart, Martin and it's Snell in at the two guard. Oh, and how about squeezing the orange as tight as he could there before the stuff? Yeah, no way he's going to lose that thing on the way up. Winslow finds Chris. One of the cases where Hype fails to tell you the whole story. Chris has gone three of five, shooting from the floor. Snell, the pass to Toppin. And Toppin throws it down. Oh, fellas, that was a vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. That's his first personal foul. On Friday, they're taking on Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. Then on Sunday, they'll be playing against James Harden and the Brooklyn Nets. And you know for that matchup with Denver, this is a game that they are expected to win, but sometimes those are the kind of games where you get a little bit sloppy and start looking ahead. Either way, they'll need to put in tremendous effort to walk away with the victory. And Steve, you played in a different era. Do you look a little differently at all the hugs and handshakes between opposing players these days? No, not at all, Kevin. It's just totally different. These guys have been knowing each other for a long time, you know, with youth basketball. I think the competition on the court it speaks for itself, so I think our game is still in good hands. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for Tony Snell. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Holiday against Gilgis Alexander. Drives to the hoop, and it's blocked. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Well, overall, they're the team getting the better looks here in this second half. For them, the first half was maybe more of a filling out process. Now it's winning time. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Over Holiday. No good on the shot a bit long that time. Outside, Smart. He dishes it to Holiday. Smart kicks to Beasley. Good, and Smart gets the assist. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Beasley's gone two or three, shooting from deep here. Driving in, Winslow. And nothing is falling for him right now. 
It's Smart with the drive. And Martin slam Smart. dunk by Smart. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. Here's Giddy. Pass to Winslow. Shot from 16. And the rejection by Favors. The 7 4 arm span of Favors paying big dividends when it comes to rim protection. I don't know what coach told him at halftime, but he is shooting the lights out right now. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Going inside. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taking 12 shots and made half of them. Shea Gilgis Alexander shows the innate ability to use change of pace dribbling as an offensive weapon. Holiday against Gilgis Alexander. Beasley for three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Chris pass to Roby. On the wing, Winslow. And the dunk by Winslow. We're going to see a lot of this from Winslow in the coming years. Explosive young talent. And Holiday kicks to Smart. Out of bounds. Oklahoma City takes possession. Both teams will make substitutions. Checking in for the away team. Here's Mann. Payne covering. And that one barely misses as he draws contact. Two free throws coming up. That's his first Greg, you've got the unique opportunity right now to watch your son Cole follow in your footsteps. What has changed for players now versus when you play? Well, I think the players today are so much smarter, and they prepare to be pros at such an earlier age. And honestly, I think that's one of the advantages our league has. You know, you don't have to teach these guys responsibility. You may have to teach them the game, but they are ready, willing, and able to work to achieve their goals. Now, here is Hernan Gomez. Payne finds Neto. Three-pointer. Can't hit that one. And the Thunder with the possession here. There's the killer two-handed slam. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this one. Very nice stretch from them, but the reason why they are not into this game, they have to get some stops. Here's Neto. Hits the difficult oh, fadeaway jumper. And yeah, he's not messing around. He wants no part of a comeback in this one. The reason why momentum can flip so quickly, we see it time and time again, teams giving up big leads. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Here's Beasley, and he gets that Beasley. one to go off the front eye. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Man passes to Pokrasevsky. Here's Deck. To the inside. And again, it's she, Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 10 points in just the second half. Payne passes it to Hernan Gomez. Here's Neto, and it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Mann. There's the triple, and a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Mann's got five points now in the quarter. Malik Beasley. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made 
everything. He got an extra boost from the grief these fans were giving him here tonight. They were riding him hard all night, and he ate it up. Some guys just like being the villain, I guess. So it's the visitors now. Outside, Dort. Here's Richardson. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Roby's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Herter, guarded by Holiday. Gets it to fall. The bucket from Herter. Finding makeable shots. Kevin Herter continuing to become more efficient as a scorer. To the paint. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. Under trailing by 19. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Chris kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Herter. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Down to five on the shot clock. Puts it up from 17. And the rejection by Favors. Holiday, the pass to Dort. Kicks it out to Richardson. The pass to Holiday. Into the lane. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Holiday's got 15 points in just the second half. Right there, you see Holiday's toughness. Gets hit, able to maintain body control, finishes the play. Gilgis Alexander with it, and it's Richardson picking him up. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. And the Thunder making a change here. Holiday's checked in. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. There's a screen by Chris. Shot clock at five. The 10 footer. With the shot. It's hauled in by Richardson. Richardson's got four rebounds in this game. Dort finds Richardson. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And for the teams who are rebuilding, Smitty, it seems stacking draft picks is often the best approach. Pick swaps, protections. It can make your head spin. It can, Kevin. Shots. I think for the younger guys, it comes down to a couple things. Player development and the culture you breed. That's usually the difference between success and failure. That one falls, so he hits both of them. I mean, a ferocious athlete, Josh Richardson, has also proven to be a terrific 3 and D guy. Aladon passes to Chris. Another shot. Up and in on the way. Chris has got four this quarter. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Now, here's George. Holiday looking over the floor. Shot from 16. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Now, Oklahoma City takes it the other way. There's Winslow. And the Thunder, another three. On the heels of this run, you wonder where was this effort earlier on? Well, the question becomes, are they playing that much better now? Or has their opponent taken the rest of the night off? Now, here's Melodon. Derek Favors is able to get his shot to go. Oh, Kev, he put some anger <laughs> behind that one. You're telling me. Richardson finds Beasley. Looking for Favors. He gets it there. Nice shot from the way. An area where Six Favors from. continues to gain Malik consistency. Beasley. Has a nice looking stroke out to 15 feet. Pass to Winslow. 16 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Holiday with the defensive effort. And 
so it's a victory for the road team in this one. That's the end of the game. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time.